know I'm welcome back to Build Mother Boys. We now have issue 87 of Hashet's Build the Titanic. Uh, in this one, we'll be doing the opposite of what we did the last time. However, there's no window section in this one. Um, there's only one window section, but it's not both sides, it's just the one side. Um, so we have a solid piece of hull that's going into this one. Um, this is going to look nice. It's going to look really nice. So this is the lower starboard side that we're doing. Um, and it just, this thing is it's just growing <laughs> so big now. Um, I'm excited to see where we're going with this. I really am. Um, we will be having another creepy turn of the Titanic, but it's something that was, would have been absolutely terrifying that I don't think really is taken into account or mentioned too much, but it is, it is the reality that, you know, we, we were, it's recorded in different ways, but what it would have been like for some of the survivors that night. Um, if you haven't yet, please remember to like and subscribe, but let's get this one open and let's get this one built. Okay, so let's take a look at what we get in this one. Now, this one is going to be slightly different because we have no window, like the window over here. No window on this one. Uh, there are uh, just Allen bolts in this one because of the holes we won't put in the, uh, the hatch part. This is what we have. So it's a lovely piece of uh, of hull there, which is going to pop into the side of the uh, of the boat. Now we don't have the boat, sorry, the ship. Um, now we don't have any of the uh, the little BM screws to put in this one. So we're going to pop that one straight in. Get this screwed in. See what it looks like. So this is the section we're working on. And taking the piece we've just received, I'm going to click that one into here, like. So, there we go. Right, now. Allen bolts. Um, but, I am using the free screwdriver that came with us with the Allen uh, extension. Because uh, it took me, you know, over a year to figure out that I could do that. <laughs> because I just, I don't really, you know, the free gifts are the free gifts. I don't really um, use them. But, well, more for me, right? Because we just touched this one into the 3-in-1 or just to ease this transition in. Hopefully it will. There we go. So let's get this one screwed in. So much easier. I mean, that combination of three and one and this screwdriver makes life so much easier than using that stupid bloody key they provided. So that's one. Let's get the second one in, and then we are done. We will uh we'll zoom out and we'll have a look at this. But man, it's it's just ridiculously big now. <laughs> it's uh it's it's overwhelming, I think is what the um I would say overwhelming, that's it in, intimidating. It's an intimidating scale, and it sort of shows the grandeur of the model that we're building now. We get an idea after so long. We get to really see the kind of scale of what it is that we're doing, which is beautiful. Okay, so that's going in. God, this is so much easier than that stupid key. There we are. So is that one done? Right, let's take a look at it. Done nice and easy. I mean, it is literally a, a two-screw issue, but why are we? I mean, look at this now. This is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. It really is. Um, it's, it's it's just wow. <laughs> uh, I know Hull makes everyone happy. This building, this they all, everyone's happy with Hull. So even though there's a lot, there's not a lot to do. It just makes an impact every single time we have. But we've still got more Hull to go, man. I mean, this thing is vast. So it's um it's an exciting one. In the next one, we'll be adding the the upper part as well. So we will have it's. It's going to look great. It just is. Um, that's all for the build instructions. So if you just stick around with the build instructions, thank you very much. Um, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps our channel massively. We love how you're along for the journey. If you stick around for our uh, Titanic tales, we've gone a bit spooky for Halloween, a bit creepy, a bit eerie, a bit frightening. Um, in the last one, we spoke about the noise of the screams and the, everything that would have gone on, the cracking, the, the, it would have been horrible. But for me, I think what would have been even scarier is the silence 
I've always said when people have I've had conversations about this, about what you think would have been the scariest thing in Titanic. For me, it would be when the lights went out. I think when the lights finally went out and everything was just plunged into darkness, I think it would have been horrendous. And the screaming would have been horrendous. However, if you were a survivor in one of those lifeboats, all of a sudden, and they said this happened after about 30 minutes, silence. Just silence. Which is weird. When you go from all that chaos that would have been happening on board that ship um, to just nothing. Silence. It would have been horrifying. Absolutely horrifying because... It's it's a very uh, audible indicator that all these people are gone. They were once there. All this life, all this presence was once there, and now nothing. And you just plunged into darkness, um, which is horrifying, absolutely horrifying. And a lot of them said about the silence, about the calm, how quiet it was, and how you know they were expecting to hear somebody calling for help or something, and they just didn't, just wasn't there. And that must be really horrifying for a lot of people on the um, on the lifeboats. They wouldn't have known the Carpathia was coming. They wouldn't have known. Um, so particularly in like the collapsibles and whatnot that weren't being manned by a um, by a set or anything that set adrift, or you'd have no idea that anything was coming. So it was it was a long time before Carpathia turned up, but you would have just been adrift in the dark, not knowing is anyone coming. Just alone in the silence in the freezing Atlantic Ocean. How horrifying would that be? That would be absolutely horrendous. No idea. Is, is someone coming? Isn't someone coming? Are we gonna just going to sit here until we freeze to death or starve? Or No idea. So that weight must have been agony. It must have been absolutely horrendous. And um, it's, it's something that's not really touched upon. I mean, we talk about the screaming and the chaos of the Titanic, but the calm, that, that weird kind of serene calm that would have washed over, no pun intended, um, the lifeboats in the early hours of that morning thinking, what is, is, is salvation coming? Or is, is this it? Have we just delayed the inevitable? Because not everybody that got into the lifeboats survived. I mean, some people froze to death in those lifeboats not knowing if help was coming or not. And I think that's harrowing. And I think it's important to remember that because, again, just because you got a place on a lifeboat does not mean that you escaped unscathed. Nobody walked away from Titanic unscathed. They didn't. It left its mark on everybody. And um, I can't imagine living with that. I can't imagine living with that trauma. It must have been absolutely horrendous. But the silence, for me, would have been 10 times scarier than the screams. The screams would have been distressing, harrowing. But the silence, I think, would have been terrifying. The dark and the silence, terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. And there are people who say, well, moonlight would have been good. You still don't see anything. It's the, it's, the, it's the Atlantic. It's not like this horizon you can see. Nothing, as far as the eye can see. Um, it, it just must have been absolutely horrifying. <sighs> Creepy. Um, but that's... That's the last of the Halloween stories. And the next one, because we've gone quite heavy with the kind of the trauma of, of the uh, the passing, we're going very light on the next one. And um, we are talking about Titanic had everything, everything you could imagine, including a glory hole. Now, if you're hearing that and thinking, what's a glory hole, Scott? Well, you'll find out in the next one. If you're hearing that and you're kind of smirking, the internet has ruined you. So um, we will go into the Titanic glory hole in the next one to finish the month on a light note. Um, if you haven't yet, please remember to like and subscribe in a world where you can be anything at all, just be nice. We'll be back very, very soon uh, to finish out the month of Titanic. Um, swing by and we'll see you then. Take care.